Today we're going to be tying the uh, double barrel popper and I think I have it in the six but just to kind of show you what it looks like the it's just a foam uh, double barrel um, body that you can buy and I airbrush them you can hand paint them there's a Smith Industries epoxy on top of that it's the only epoxy I've found that you could put on top of the paint that it doesn't crack very easy um, so I really like that now Loon also makes a uh, flexible body and you can use that as well. I've, I've been told that's really good. I don't know if you can see it, but right behind the eyes. Um, that's another great uh, use for this tool. Um, you can use to go ahead and punch a hole through that so that you can pull your, your, um, your legs through. So I like using this, the Sculpin Olive. Um, I think it gives it a little more movement in the water. You can use any kind of marabou that you're comfortable with or that you have around the house. And what I try to do is I try to measure the length of the fly and the hook. And that's basically what I want the tail to look like. So one of the, one of the things that I do differently when I'm tying poppers is I like to put the actual legs on the back side of it. And I do it a little differently. And I can't say it's my design. I got this from an old, uh, an old tire himself, Mike Tucker. Uh, Mike taught me pretty much everything I know about poppers. And it really works well for this. It keeps the back of the fly stable and, and level with the, the front of the fly. Next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and tie in some flashaboo. Um, I'm sticking to traditional just olive colors, kind of bass colors. Now that we have that tied in, we'll go ahead and move with our hackle. Um, some people are really picky with hackle. They want to go ahead and use the hackle gauge and figure out what size hook, everything. I like a lot of movement up there, so I choose usually the largest uh, hackle in the bag. And now I like to bring everything back and make just a couple of wraps. And that pretty much gets the tail tied in. The only thing we have left to do now is we want to go ahead and add our legs to the front of this fly. I want these things acting kind of like fins as it's moving in the water. I want it pushing water, making a little noise as this thing's popping. And there you go, folks. That's your basic double-headed popper using uh, marabou, basic hackle, and some rubber legs and flashaboo. I really like popper fishing. It's probably my favorite way to fish, uh, fly fish. And uh, first hour in the morning, last hour of the day is probably the most productive. And um, it's just a really great way to, uh, to fish.